Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this episode we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Saturday, September the 23rd, 2023. Let's take a look and see what we got for today. Looks like we've got some slightly different ones, some repeatables of course. Now you will notice I have Claim a Workshop 1. Basically I re-rolled uh, complete daily ops and I got this one instead. Now if you're having trouble with any one of these daily challenges or even weekly challenges that pop up for you, I have many many videos on my channel that will help you out with that. You can check them out. Okay, so let's see something that we can do here in the old uh, camp before we uh, get going. Let's go ahead, we can uh, scrap junk to produce oil, five. Before we do that, we're under attack, of course. You're under attack by, looks like, uh, Mr. Gutsy down there. Have a nice life. Have a nice life, Mr. Gutsy. Alright, so I have many videos. I probably have about six or seven of them that shows you great locations for junk items that you can use to scrap to bake to produce oil. However, if you're short on time, fastest, quickest, easiest way, we can go ahead and bulk oil at the old Tinker's workbench. Let's go ahead, we're gonna go craft. We're gonna go bulk. Go down here to bulk oil. As long as you have plastic and waste oil in your stash or scrap box, this method will work for you. Now we need is a bulk one. This is gonna give us 10 waste oil. Go ahead and exit out. We'll scrap that bulk oil we just crafted. Done. Scrap junk to produce oil five for five. Easy, easy as that, guys. Easy as that. Let's see what else we got here. Craft or scrap a melee weapon, five. So melee weapons, you know, we're talking about uh, super mutants. They have those boards. Uh, Scorched will have melee weapons on them. However, if you... Uh, in playing for a little bit, you should know uh, a couple plans uh, for me melee weapons and you can go ahead and uh, craft them. Or you can go search for them by some super mutants or some scorched right there in the old forest area. Okay, let's go. But uh, for the fastest, quickest, easiest way, we'll just go to our weapons workbench. We're going to go craft. And usually one of the first uh, things you learn is a, uh, where is it here? Baseball bat. Baseball bat and a board. These two things, and even I think a uh, lead pipe and a pipe wrench are one of the first things you learn uh, as a new player. Let's go ahead. We're going to craft a couple level ones. It doesn't cost a whole lot. It's going to cost us two plastic and five wood for each one. We're going to go ahead and we're going to craft three of them. Okay, there we go. Three for five. Let's back out. If I can hit the right button here. <laughs> Go ahead and scrap. Scrap these baseball bats we just crafted. Get some stuff back anyway. There we go. Done. Scrap. Craft or scrap a melee weapon. Five for five. Easy as that, guys. Easy as that. Okay, what else can we do here? Okay. Let's go ahead. We're going to kill a floater three. Uh, we've This one's been popping up the last couple of days. Let's go to a good spot. I'm going to take you right down here to the ash heap. We're going to go right here to the red rocket filling station. So let's pop over there. Now we had this as a weekly. You would have saw me in that video bring you guys here. Because there's good reliable source of three floaters right here. Every single time still. So that's good. Right here the good old red rocket filling station in the old ash heap. I like to kind of sneak my way over here and get up on top of this bus. Take these cats out. There's that guy right close to us there. Shoot for the head. Probably the best spot for them. There's only level 50, so that's okay. It popped right off like a balloon there. Jeepers. Let's get this cat here. And there's usually... Oh, there he is right there. Okay. Just on time. Menacing floater flamer. There you go. Kill a floater three for three. Very reliable location for three floaters. 
I usually bring you guys up to Darling Sister's Lab, which is right up here in the forest. Another great uh, spot for three floaters every single time. It's right up there in the forest, and they're, uh, you know, level 50, fairly low level. All right, so that's done. That one's done. Let's go ahead and claim a workshop. Now, it could be any any workshop at all on the map. We're fairly close to uh, Beckley, so let's just uh, pop over there. We'll go ahead and claim that workshop. I told those scavengers to hand it over. It's not my fault they didn't want to listen. Yeah, whatever, buddy. Have a nice life. You guys think I should just take him out? Nah, we'll leave him be. He's passive. He seems kind of happy. He wants to have a chat. I guess we'll leave him alone for now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over here to the old workshop in the old Beckley uh, mine exhibit. Let's see what we got here. Claim the workshop. Oh, look at that. No enemies. Nice. So sometimes that happens, FYI. And sometimes you get to clear a few enemies, but uh, I like these ones better. You know what I mean? Just walk up to it. Unowned. 25 caps. Beautiful. <clears throat> or even on a uh, public server, too, so that's even better. That's even, uh, that's impressive. Huh. The old feral ghoul reaver is having a good old time there on the porch. Looking for something to eat. Looking for someone's face to claw off. There we go. Claim a workshop. One for one. Done. Just like that. Oh, let's get off of that screen, Jim. What else do we got here? What else do we got? Okay. Kill a mutant hound. Three. Kill a super mutant. Five. Okay. <clears throat> Sell. Mutant hound chops to an NPC vendor. One. Excuse me. I had to clear my throat there for a second. Um, let's go to a spot where maybe we can get the majority of this done. I brought you guys here before. And uh, I would say to get both of them done at the same time, graft and steel. Probably a good spot. Now I see someone already has the uh, graft and steel yard done. Let's, um, let's fast travel up there. Graft and steel. That way there we can get, uh, there's usually about uh, four or five mutant hounds around at least, anyway, at least. And uh, there's always uh, super mutants around. So we're going to, we're going to take care of, uh, kill a mutant hound three and kill a super mutant five here at the same time. And we're going to look around for a mutant hound meat uh, when we kill a mutant hound. But just keep in mind uh, that every time that you... Wow, that was crazy. How about that? <laughs> All sneaky sneaky there. Um, what was I even saying? Yeah, so sometimes if you pick up mutant hound, uh, or if you kill a mutant hound, there is a good chance that you will not pick up mutant hound meat. Okay, not every time. FYI on that, what is going on here? I don't know. Something sounds like it's chewing on something. Yeah, I don't know. Let's uh, check it out in here. And these mutant hounds are already dead. Oh! Got some ghouls. Oh, another ghoul. Oh, oh, another ghoul. Holy mackerel. I'm just here for the mutant hounds, uh, guys. Oh, really? Sounds like we have a... Uh, Sounds like, oh, I gotta fix this here. Just give me a sec here. Let's repair this weapon before it's uh, done for. There we go. That's weird. See that pop up? Um, yeah, so I think the mutant hounds are already killed. But uh, let's go ahead and take care of some of these super mutants while we're here. Might as well. And uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is probably server hopping back here. Because this is a real good spot. Unless we come across... Is there someone else here? Doesn't seem so. Unless they're invisible. Which is a possibility. 
Now there's usually a couple more super, uh, mutant hounds across the yard. Uh, some usually there is, but uh, not all the time. So we'll we'll make our way over there. Huh? Oh, we got a cap here. Look at that. Weird. There is another uh, super mutant around here. There's all kinds of them around here. Good old Grafton Seal. Oh, there's right here. His back turned to us. I don't know why his back turned to us. That's odd. So there we go. Kill the super mutant. Five for five. Done. Um, let's check over here. Sometimes there'll be a mutant hound moving around here. Take care of this cat here. Yeah, I'll take that too. Now, sometimes I bring you guys to uh, Grafton Dam. Uh, now, Grafton Dam will be good for one uh, mutant hound. And there's another mutant hound there. See, he's already uh, dead there. So, all right. So that's. Um, that's server hop. And uh, that way there, maybe we'll get a fresh one. And I'll maybe server hop to a uh, private server. That's what I'll do. Alright. Let's do that. Let's do it. Go to a private server here. Private adventure. It's going to take a few minutes for it to uh, load in. But... Um, yeah, I would say Grafton Steel, one of the best spots. That is, unless you see, like, a, um, a mutant hound, uh, horde. Which happens once in a while, but not all the time. But, uh, it'll just pop up as, like, a random event. I'll have, like, the little, uh, hexagon, whatever that is, without the exclamation mark in the middle. But, uh, those little horde events that'll pop up. And there's usually like, uh, you know, at least five of them in that horde, with uh, one of them being a legendary, but you have to be real lucky for that to pop up. But when you're looking for something, you won't see it. All right, so here we are. Private server, back here at good old Grafton Steel. Let's look for three mutant hounds. I like to kind of always start off in this building down here, because that's where usually uh, three or four of them are. And there's, a, there's one right over there, see him? Blow him away! Blow him away! There, we get at least one. That's funny how you don't you don't you normally uh, see them side by side like that. That's odd. Must be like best friends or something. <laughs> BFFs. All right, so there we go. Let's pick up that mutant hound meat. But as I said, FYI, just in case you don't know, if you're a new, that. Just because you kill a mutant hound doesn't mean you're going to pick a mutant hound meat. Sometimes they'll have nothing. And this guy's uh, stuck in the... Oh, he's got one with him too. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course, Jim. Got him. Don't have any grenades equipped right now. Let's do that right now. Plasma from grenade, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> is, there, is there a third mutant hell? I couldn't even say it. Can't even say it. Let's do that again. Let's do it. Who is shooting at me? Yeah, it's gonna be more than your head here in a second here, buddy boy. Let's get this floater. So sometimes there are floaters here. I don't think it's 100% reliable to make a video of its own saying that there's floaters here all the time. Because that's not true. Okay, he's got me out on the meat too, it's good. Hey, listen. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, so we got our mutant hound. Three for three. 
And, uh, and as you saw, as I went through um, Graft and Steel and those other buildings, you saw that uh, there was other mutant hounds that were already dead, right? So this is, I would say this is probably one of the best spots uh, for, for mutant hounds. And uh, we could have claimed that workshop, but uh, oh well, it's what it is, I guess. Uh, so that's that. So next thing is sell mutant hound shops to an NPC vendor. Okay. So again, great spot for mutant hounds right here. Good old graft and steel. Okay. At least four of them. At least. Not all of them will have mutant hound meat. So you need to pick up the mutant hound uh, meat off them. You just need one. Let's go ahead. We're going to claim this workshop here. And we're going to build, build a cooking station so we can cook the mutant hound meat into mutant hound chops. Now, as soon as you pick up mutant hound meat or uh, vegetables like corn or razor grain, tattle plant, whatever, you'll automatically learn a recipe by default just by picking up that stuff. You don't have to go find a special recipe. And uh, so just FYI on that. Okay, so we claimed this workshop. Now let's go ahead. We're going to build a cooking station. Just just save us time from having to uh, go to my camp here. Okay, so I would say this is probably the most important part. So let's go to our cooking station. We're going to go down to all food. We're going to cook the mutant hound meat into mutant hound chops, which is just a simple recipe. So there we go. One mutant hound meat, one wood. So let's go ahead. We're going to craft both of them done okay and now we can go to any npc vendor on the map and sell mutant hound chops to them for that daily okay well, there's our mutant hound chops there done go to any uh any old train station we'll go out here grafton it's just next door just down the road across the uh across the stream there <laughs> Alright. But I would say that's the most important part. If you try to sell the mutant hound meat just as it is, it's not going to work. You have to cook it into uh, mutant hound chops to complete this. Alright, buds, how you making out there? I sell one mutant hound chop to you. Done, just like that. Sell mutant hound chops to an NPC vendor. One for one. It's that easy. Simple. You have a great location. So yeah, we got it all done. Let's check it out here. Done. Easy. Hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Wef Wiffen, Heather. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.